This is a Solana tutorial with Phantom Wallet. I'll show you how to get set up with this wallet, how to get assets in and out of the wallet, stake Solana, and then use some DeFi applications with the wallet. Timestamps for everything down in the description below. We can come and download Phantom Wallet for Solana then. There are other wallets on Solana, but Phantom is the most popular for now. So you can download it for these web browsers right here. You can also download it for your mobile if you want to do that. It's the exact same setup process and you can use the exact same wallet across all of your devices. So just set the wallet up once, you get this recovery phrase, and then you can reload the wallet and see all of your assets across all of your devices. So I'll show you the setup for Chrome just to make it easy here. So I'll click this. It's gonna take me through to the Chrome App Store to go ahead and download this as an extension. So you can see I've got it installed already, but if you don't just, just press download here and it's gonna install it as an extension on your Chrome. From there, it's gonna ask you to set up the wallet. So we'll go through that uh, right now. From here, if you have a wallet already, just click I already have a wallet and you can reload the 12 words that you've been given previously. If you've never done this before, just click create a new wallet. It's gonna take you through to two screens. One is to create a password. This is a local password on the device that you're using. So it's a kind of like a safety feature where you can lock the application just in case you know someone else uses the computer, they can't get it. It's gonna also periodically ask you to put this in. So you need to make sure it's a password you can remember. Um, this is not your recovery phrase though. This is just a local device password to kind of unlock the app. So once you've created that, you can then go through to actually setting up the wallet. Now, if you uh, lose this password, it doesn't matter as long as you have the recovery phrase for your wallet, you can just um, uninstall the app, reload it and set a new password. So that's like a local password that you can reset. This page right here is gonna give you your recovery phrase. This is your wallet. So you can see there are gonna be 12 words right here. Every one's words are different. These 12 words help set up the wallet that you have and own. Those 12 words are your wallet. So write them down somewhere very safe because if you lose access to the wallet and these words, then you'll never get that money back because no one else knows these and neither do you. If someone else has these words, that means they own your wallet as well because they can access the wallet and reload it and send all of your crypto out. So these words are important. Write them down, keep them somewhere safe and uh, you can set up the wallet right here. So you just press continue and you can check that you've got those words in the right place and it gets gonna set up the wallet for you. So once you have the wallet right there, you now have a Solana Phantom wallet and that is a hot wallet on your computer. So that's what we can use. And as you can see here, it says you're all done. On Chrome at least, you can see it's up in the top right with your extensions. So you can just get the extension up and it's gonna show you the Phantom wallet that we can use. If you are creating a wallet on your smartphone or you want to just have the wallet on both your computer and your smartphone, this is what it looks like. So if you've already set up a wallet, you don't need to create a new one. Just click, I already have a wallet on your phone. It's going to say, do you want to uh, use Face ID to access the apps? Probably a good idea. And what you want to be doing here is reloading the wallet, put your 12 words in, and it's gonna access the same wallet across different devices. And so you're gonna see all of your balances right there across your mobile or your computer. From here, there are some important settings that you might wanna check. So I'll just get the extension up here. If you look at the top left, the burger menu, so we'll just click this. This is my account one. So this is the account that I've set up. I've set up the wallet and I've set up one account. Three blockchains are supported for right now, Solana, Ethereum, and Polygon. So you can use all of these within the app and you have a wallet address for each of these blockchains. This account one, this can be added to. So you have account one, but you can add account two, account three, account four, all within the same wallet and all linked to the same recovery phrase that we just had. So what we can do is go down and press the plus button. It says create new account. So that'll be a different wallet address than your account one so that you can use that differently and separately, but it's linked to that same 12 word phrase. You can connect a hardware wallet with Phantom as well. So what a lot of people will do is have their investment portfolio on a hardware wallet air gapped, don't use it. And then when they want to use DeFi or NFTs, they'll take some assets from that hardware wallet, send a transaction to their hot wallet, which Phantom is, and then use DeFi or any other applications. So you can connect the hardware wallet directly to Phantom as well. Not really much need for it though, to be honest, in my opinion, because um, you can just send assets across, especially on Solana. Secret recovery phrase or import private key. If you have a previous wallet, you can load them right here. So we don't need to go through those. 
Now, other thing we can do is press settings and you can see active networks here. So if you really don't use Ethereum or Polygon, just turn them off and then you'll just have a Solana experience. But you can use them and you can see different apps as well, but you can choose that. There's some other settings here, um, which are self-explanatory, but that's the settings uh, and the ways of adding new accounts in Phantom Wallet. We need to get some Solana into our Phantom Wallet to use the blockchain. Every time you use a blockchain, you need to pay a gas fee, like a fee to the network. And on Solana, that is of course, Sol, the token that we need to pay with. So there is a way to buy directly within Phantom Wallet. If you click buy, and then choose the asset that you want to buy. So you're going to have to have some Solana if you want to use the blockchain. So we'll click Solana and, you know, let's just do $100 here. We press next and there's two options, MoonPay and Coinbase Pay. These are fine. You can use cards with these. You'll need, a, you'll need an account with Coinbase or MoonPay first and they're going to charge you around 2 to 3% as a fee to use your card and fiat currency to buy Solana. So you can do that, no problem, but you need an account with either of these and then they'll send the Solana to your wallet. Uh, but the fees are pretty high. What I'm gonna do is just go over to my Binance account uh, and withdraw some Solana tokens. So this is obviously way cheaper. Binance charges 0.075% as a trading fee and then pretty much nothing to withdraw the Solana. So much cheaper. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is get my Solana address. So I'm gonna get my Solana wallet up and then we need to receive tokens, right? So what I'm going to do is press deposit like this. And then it says, well, which asset do you want to deposit? And I'm going to press Solana. And that's my address. So this is the wallet address of my Phantom wallet. So I'm going to press copy here. And then we're going to go and import this into my exchange. You can use Binance, you know, Bybit, BitGet, Coinbase. They all have Solana, so it's uh, well uh, supported as an asset. I'll leave some links below to the exchanges I use. You can get deposit and trading bonuses on those. You can check the details well, links below. But from here, paste the address in and it says wallet address automatically matched to corresponding network. So I know that the address has been pasted in properly without any errors because it's recognized it as a Solana address. So from here, you know, just press the amount that you want to withdraw, press withdraw. That is going to be withdrawn from your exchange and it's going to go to the wallet address that you gave it, which is our Phantom wallet address. You can just double check this as well. So, you know, press Solana, you can see deposit right here and then just check the wallet address, make sure it's okay. If you're using a phone, you can just scan this as well. That is gonna go through and be withdrawn out to the wallet address that we gave, which is our Phantom Wallet. If you wanna withdraw tokens from your Phantom Wallet, and if you want to cash out, so back into fiat currency, what you're going to have to do is send that back into a centralized exchange so that you can trade it for fiat currency. So you can't cash out of your Phantom wallet because it's a blockchain wallet. It just doesn't have fiat currency links. So what we're gonna to have to do is send out. So we're gonna press send, now we've got some tokens. Now remember, you always need some Solana to pay for gas. So if you wanna send some stable coins, you still need Solana to pay for gas. For right here, I'm just gonna press send like this and it's going to say, which what do you wanna send? So send Solana, and then it says, where's the recipient's address, right? So what you need to do is find out your exchange or your other wallet that you wanna to send to. So I'm gonna press Solana here, I'm depositing crypto into my exchange, Solana, make sure it's the Solana network, and then it says, here's your address, right? I'm not gonna create one, but there will be an address here, and it says, this is your Solana address to send to. So what we're gonna do is go back up to our Phantom wallet, we're gonna press our Solana to send, and it says, here's your address. So paste in the address that you wanna to send to, and then press the amount of Solana that you want to send. Now, if you wanna send Solana, you can actually wipe the wallet clean and send everything out. If you're sending a stable coin, you do need some Solana left in there to pay for gas to send the stable coin. So once you've got the place that you wanna to send to, you can just check how much you wanna send and press next and then go through with that. So that's gonna send out from your Phantom wallet into your crypto exchange or, or another Solana wallet that you wanna to send to. I'll show you how to stake Solana within Phantom as well. This is actually really simple and easy. Now there's two ways to do this, which I'll show you. The first one, if we get Phantom up, why stake Solana? Solana pays a staking reward and this just comes through the blockchain. So it's not lending or anything like that. This is blockchain based rewards that you can uh, get from staking Solana. So it's a proof of stake blockchain. So when you're staking, you're helping secure the blockchain and you get some staking rewards. Now, as of making this video, Solana does not pay a real yield. 
What I mean by that is the yield that you're getting is just uh, paid by the creation of new coins. So Solana still has inflation. So what you should really think of this as is, it says 6% that you're getting for staking right now. What you're actually getting is zero because the 6% is coming from the creation of new coins. So if you don't stake, you're getting debased by 6% a year. If you do stake, you're getting debased by 0% a year. So it's not a real yield as of yet. Now, as Solana matures, this yield may actually become real, whereas fees are paid to essentially have more than inflation, right? So there's no inflation or little inflation. You can secure the blockchain and you get a real yield and you're actually earning real yield on top of your Solana. As of right now, that isn't the case. But in any case, I'll leave some links below to videos on staking if you wanna know more, but we wanna stake. So from right here, what we need to do is press Solana because this is the token that we're staking. So we have some in our wallet. From here, you can see it's just loading up and you can stake it right here. So it says start earning Sol. So I'm gonna click this and this is where we can stake. What we need to do now is choose a validator. Validators are the things that we stake our Solana with and they'll pay us that reward. You can choose any of these. They're all gonna be you know, fairly reputable right here. And you can see the rewards are pretty good, right? Six or 7%, so not too shabby. You can click this right here. And then it says, do you wanna choose this validator? That's fine for me. And then choose an amount of sell that you want to stake, right? And you can press stake right here. Now what you're doing is you're staking with that validator and you're getting the reward. They can't control your Solana. So if you want to unstake, we'll just press stake here and we can stake on the blockchain. Once you are staking, what you can do is go back out to the staking um, area like this, and it will say, you have some stake. So it says, you are staking Solana with this validator. What you can do is click that, and it will go through to the page and it says, do you want to withdraw? And if you want to take your Solana out, you can. You can just withdraw it and not stake it anymore. The thing is with this type of staking, this staking is locked on Solana, which means you can use your soul to stake, and that means it's staked and you can't do anything else with it once it's staked. You can't use it in DeFi, you can't, you can't send it around. The only thing you can do is withdraw it and then use your Solana. So this is fine, but you're locking your, your Solana right here. The other way of doing it, like on many blockchains now, is to use a liquid staking token. So this is an application on Solana that just launched. And what they do here is let you turn your soul into Gito Cell. This is a staking token. And the difference is you're getting the staking reward. Now you can see the reward is a little bit lower than staking because Gito is taking a, you know, kind of a percent for themselves, like as a fee. But what this does is turn your Solana into a liquid Solana. So you can actually use Gito Cell within DeFi. You can use the balance and the collateral that you have, like if you've got a dollar amount of Gito Sol, you can actually use that in DeFi to lend out and get extra yield on top. So that's layering yield. Now, obviously it gets more complex because you're using DeFi and there are more risks there. And then you're actually lending potentially, which lending and staking aren't the same, right? So just to show you how to use this, if you did want to, uh, want to you can connect your wallet. So again, I'll link the Gito site down below, but you can press connect and it says, how do you want to connect? I want to connect with my phantom wallet. So I'm going to click that and it says, do you want to connect to this application? They can view your wallet and request request approval for transactions. I'm going to press connect right here and I've got uh, my wallet connected. You can see right here, it's actually found the amount of soul that I have, right? So I've got some soul in here and I want to stake this. So I'm going to press max and it says you can turn your soul into Gito soul. So what you have now, once you do that, if you want to do that, you now get this new token called GitoSol, and it is Solana staking. So you, it's the same value as Solana, but you get those staking rewards with this token as well. So there's two ways to do it. This one is liquid staking, which means you have a token you can send around. And the other type of Solana staking is locked, which means it's locked in there and you can't use the token when you're doing it. We can really easily swap tokens within the Phantom Wallet as well. So if you're using the Solana blockchain, this is very straightforward. Come down to the bottom and click the swap icon here. Then from here, it's going to ask you, which token do you want to sell and which token do you want to buy? So if you click this token, it will just show you a list of tokens within your wallet that you can sell. So I'll just click Solana here 
and then select token. This is the one we're swapping into. So we'll click that and it just gives us a list of probably the most popular tokens on the chain right now. So for right here, you can see GTO stake sell. You can actually just buy this token as well. You don't have to use the GTO protocol because this is a liquid token, right? Once you own the token, you get the rewards that GTO sell pays. In any case, we'll just swap, uh, swap sold for USDC and we will click an amount. So for right here, let's just click um, 0 0.05 like that, uh, which is telling me it's around $5.60. You can see the provider here is Orca. So that is a, a exchange on Solana and it's going through Orca and Whirlpool and Radium, right? So these are decentralized exchanges. You don't have to use them. You can just swap right in the application. So I'm gonna swap this amount of Solana into USDC and it's gonna give me the best price right here. So it changes every few seconds, of course. I'm gonna review that order. Do you want to do this? Yes, you can see the price impact and the fees that you're paying. So just press swap. That will go through pretty quickly. So what I've done is swap Solana into another token. I've used decentralized exchanges, um, but I'm not using them directly. I'm just using them within Phantom. So they, they may not give you the absolute best trade. You don't really know that. But from what they're doing, they're trying to give you the best trade across the blockchain uh, as it stands right now. So you can view that transaction on the Blockchain Explorer if you want. Um, but, you know, why would you? So we're just going to press close. Now, what you can see here is that we've had um, our swap in our recent activity. So you can see we swapped an amount of USDC and we, you know, we swapped 0 0.05 salt into USDC. Now, if we go back into the wallet, what you should see now is that I've got my Solana balance and my USDC balance. So now I've got a stable coin and the Solana as well. Now what we can do is use any application that we want because we have Solana and we also have stable coins if you want to buy NFTs or trade or anything like that. This is the DeFi apps on Solana right now. I'll leave this uh, Phantom Wallet link down below. You can see them here. What I'm going to show you is just we want to swap that USDC back into Solana. So this is a crypto uh, aggregator or an exchange aggregator on Solana and we're gonna swap our tokens back. So because this is a separate application, it's not within Phantom Wallet, we're gonna to have to connect our Phantom Wallet again. So press Connect Wallet on, up in the top right, and it says, what do you want to use? We're gonna use Phantom Wallet, so we'll click that. Do you want to give this application permission to view your balances and approve transactions? Yes, so press Connect. And then for right here, what it should be doing is seeing the tokens that I have. So you can see you're paying USDC and you're receiving Solana. That's actually what I want to do. You can see that uh, it shows my wallet balance of USDC right here, and I'm going to swap it back into Solana. Now we can press slippage settings. Slippage is the difference between the price quote that you get by the exchange and the actual price that it trades at. 0.5% means you're willing to for the trade to be worse by 0.5% or away from the quote that you get by 0.5%. Uh, I'm going to use 0.3 and save because these are two liquid tokens, so I shouldn't get much slippage. For right here, I'm going to swap that uh, USDC back into Solana, so I'm going to press swap. From here, it might ask me to approve these assets. So it says, confirm the transaction. You've got Solana here and USD coin. Network fee is tiny and we're gonna press confirm, and that was swapped for me as well. So what I've done is used a third-party application that isn't within Phantom Wallet. Up in the top right, I've linked my Phantom Wallet here, and uh, you know it sees all my balances within the wallet, and it trades on the blockchain for me. Links below to the other helpful resources and videos I mentioned, and the exchange bonuses if you need them. I'm James, it's Money ZG, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.